the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today, 15th day of March, being Wednesday, week 3 of Lent, year A. And readings will be coming from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 1, verse 5 to 9. And response to Psalm will come from Psalm 147, verse 12a. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. The theme of our message today is keeping the law of God. You see, today God is telling us the need for us to keep the word of God, the law of God. And the prophets. Are keeping the word of God. There's a great benefit for us to keep the word of God because there lies our peace, there lies our joy, that lies our blessing. In keeping the word of God lies our glory and our victory and attending the purpose of our being, keeping the word of God. And now why Jesus was addressing the disciples today, said, Look, don't think I have come to abide the law and prophets. No. Some of you say this is Old Testament. No. I have not come to abide the laws of them and the prophets, the law of Moses and the prophets, no? I let have come to fulfill them. Yes. And let me tell you, the, he said, look, look at how he put it. For three years say to you, the heaven and earth passes away, pass away, not an altar, not a dot, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Until all is accomplished. So don't deceive yourself about, say, this law of Moses, this is a, no. The law is given for you to be, attend the purpose of your being. And now why he told them, anyone who licenses any of this law, make others to do it, we will get that they list the kingdom of heaven. And anyone who does it and make others to do it, we get that great in the kingdom. So the only way you can be great in the eyes of God and the eyes of people of God is the, the way you keep the word, uh, word of God. It's the extent you keep the word of God. The word that is true. If you keep it, you are truthful. The word that is light, if you become the bigger light of nations, the word that is uh, God, you keep it, you become godly. The word that is spirit, when you keep it, the spirit of God is in you. You see, the word of, that is true, word that is life. When you keep it, the word that is life, there is life in you. So anytime you keep the word of God, you are living in God. So that's the only way you can be great. The extent you are great is the extent you are keeping the word of God. And now why today you can see Moses telling the Israelites, look at it, keep the word, the ordinances and status of the Lord your God. He said, that's the way you can be regarded as a great nation. And the people will see these laws and status and say, which nation was their God so close to them? Like this. And they will see the wisdom and the, the, the great understanding among you. Who nation have such a law that guides them? And they will be envy of you. Or when you're not keeping the word, like, word of God like that, or keeping the word like that, you become a contempt. You become like others. God has set you apart for himself, moving from darkness to light, and you refuse and go back to darkness when you are not keeping the word of God. Moses is telling them when you keep the word of God, you enter the land and possess it. Or when you are not keeping the word, you deny yourself about that. So it's encouraging all of us to keep to the word of God and the status of God so that we we'll take the purpose of God's plan in our lives and they enter the land he promised us and stay there and live there. And all the promises of the word of God will be fulfilled in us. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today did say, Oh, Jerusalem, 
was calling on people of Jerusalem and say, Oh, Jerusalem, glorify the Lord. How can you, calling on Jesus to go, there is no way you can glorify the word God than keeping his word. That's the only way you glorify God. When you're not keeping the word of God, you're not glorifying God. And when you're not keeping the word of God, you're not with him. To keep the word of God means you are with God and God is with you. May we understand today that keeping the word of God is our being. And we attain the purpose of our being by keeping the word of God. And we share in the true God. May we understand this message today. The need for us to live out the word of God completely without missing any one. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. And we all learn and to keep to the word of God and teach our children to keep the same and attend the plans of God in our lives. In the of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Thank you.